Hi. Today we're going to look at how to interpret the data and pull the data that's been recorded on the log tag with display and USB, the UTRID 16. First thing we need to do, we need to unplug the cap, reveal the USB, then we'll have the log tag analyzer file open, and then we'll plug the log tag into the USB port of your computer, and then it will begin automatically downloading the data on there. If you have this auto download is on here selected, this will automatically pull the data as soon as you plug it in. So what we can see here is we have our graph. The red section here is above our eight degree threshold that we've set, and the blue section here is below our two degree threshold that we've set. These lines you can see here are all the readings that have been taken, and you can see it's going in the normal fridge pattern, up, down, up, down, up, down. And these red dots that you can see here are called inspection marks. Inspection marks occur when you press the stop mark button or the start button which says mark on your log tag. To see what that looks like, we'll go back to the log tag and that's this button here where it says mark. So that marks a dot on your graph. And now when we go back to our analyzer, you can see here the current temperatures. You can see that below this two degree line, in the green is our between 2 and 8 degree threshold, so everything is good and happy in green. But below, you can see that there's been a few recordings here where it's dipped below. So it's taken readings below our temperature threshold. If you hover over a section on the graph on the line, you can see the current temperature and the date. If you want to zoom in, all you need to do is click and drag, and you can zoom into a section here. So now you can see the date range has changed from 27th of August 2022 to here at 11 o'clock, and we can zoom in further, we can go further, 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 and then to zoom back out, we'll just go back to zoom readings and we'll have everything again. If you don't have a mouse wheel or you don't want to click and drag, you can click zoom in or zoom out. Either one works, and we'll go back to zoom readings. So you can see here, there's been a few times where it's gone above our eight degree threshold. We don't know what's happened. For example, it could have been um, during the fridge, it got taken out and it was outside for too long and it warmed up, which is the case here. So there's a thing we can do here where we can go to the report tab. So there's a few tabs here. Report generates a report for you, where you can see the description, serial number, model, etc. You can see a battery status and then it has a bunch of statistics here. Here it says the lowest and the highest temperature it's recorded, average reading, standard deviation, etc. You can see the elapsed time for the first reading, the last reading, and you can see the upper and lower alarms here. You can see how long it occurred. So we can see here that it was above 8 degrees for 50 minutes. I mean, it was below 2 degrees for more than 375 minutes. You can see here there's a big X because it breached our temperature threshold, so it considers it as failed. To view the data in a table format, just click data down here, and you can see. So if we click the data tab down here, you can see everything in a data table format. And if you scroll down, you'll see every little recording that's been taken. You can see the times where there's been a below reading occur, so it says below. And you can see times where there's been a high reading here, so it says above alert. And this was when we had it out of the fridge. Summary shows a basic summary of everything that's occurred, so statistics for um, the times it was started, the times it was recorded, etc. Um, some people don't really care too much about this, but works to have a look at. And that is how you finish interpreting your data.